One of the ways that the Torah challenges people who read it on a regular basis is when it repeats itself. The same material, or essentially the same material, is presented, but the notes are different. It's really very hard. You have to sing it to one melody the first time and a second melody the first time. This is true of the passage in this week's Torah portion that talks about Abraham's servant getting a wife for Abraham's son Isaac. The story is told by the narrator, the anonymous narrator, the first time, and then it's repeated by the servant to Rebecca's family. The notes are different, and so it made me look as to whether there are differences in the story that the servant tells and the story that the Torah told the first time around. It turns out that there are. It seems that the servant is adapting the story for his audience, for Rebecca's family, tilting the narrative slightly towards them. Ironically, at the end of the story, he bows down, records himself as giving thanks to the God of his master, Asher Hinichani Baderich Emet, who led me in the way of truth. And yet, we know that the story is not exactly the same. I asked the eighth grade when I was teaching them last week to remember the last time that they told a lie, even if it was only a little one. They didn't have to tell me what, but every student was able to remember an instance of not quite telling the exact truth, and I'm sure the same is true of all of us. And it's rather beautiful that the Torah picks up this differential by a difference in music. As if to say, you may think it's the truth, but if you listen, you will hear the difference. That was your Torah in two.